The biggest difficulty with the bubble sort is that obviously you already know what the answer should be at the end. We're going to use these numbers and arrange them into ascending order, so smallest to largest, and obviously you will know what order they should be in at the end. And the difficulty is, is that your brain will make comparisons without you necessarily spotting that that's what's going on. If a question asks you to record how many comparisons and swaps you're making, be very, very careful. Uh, make sure that you are recording everything. There's lots of different ways of setting this uh, style of problem out. I'll show you the way that I do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a red line for every time I make a comparison, and every time I make a swap, I'll write the line out again, and I'll explain what I'm doing as I'm going through. So in our first pass, what we do is we compare the first and second numbers, 12 and 5. They're in the wrong order, so I'm going to write out the list again with those two swapped. So 5, 12, 17, 6, oops, 6, 10, and 3. So I've compared the first and second, now I compare the second and third. They're okay, they don't need to swap. Then I compare the third and fourth, those two do need to swap. So I'll write out the list again with those two swapped around. That's compared the third and the fourth, so now I compare the fifth, uh, fourth and the fifth. 17 and 10, they need to change around. 5, 12, 6, 10, 17, 3. So that was comparing the fourth and the fifth. Now we compare the fifth and the sixth, and they need to swap around as well. 5, 12, 6, 10, 3, 17. And that is the end of the first pass. Now when we do the next pass, we miss out, or we, we leave out, the last number from the pass. I'm going to just put a blue line there to remind myself not to consider the 17. So now we go on the second pass, we do exactly the same thing again. So first of all, compare the first and second numbers, they're okay. Compare the second and third, they're in the wrong order. So now we've got 5, 6, 12, 10, 3, 17. I won't be doing the 17, so I'll keep that blue line appearing. Just compared the second and third, so now I compare the third and fourth. They need swapping as well. That was third and fourth, so now we go fourth and fifth. They need swapping again. Oh, and I forgot the blue line before. So I'm not considering the 17. Because I've considered now the 4th and the 5th, and I'm not considering the 17, I don't need to carry on anymore. That is the end of the second pass. So now I'm not going to include the 12 either. So in this particular pass now, I compare the first two, they're still OK. Compare the next two, they're OK. Compare 3rd and 4th, they're in the wrong order. So I need to write the list out again. 6, 3, 10, 12, 17. And that got to the end when I considered my um, third and fourth numbers because, of course, we are not considering the 12 and the 17. Uh, so that's the end of that pass. So now we won't be considering the 10. And we do 5 and 6, they're okay. 6 and 3, they need to swap. 5, 3, 6, 10, 12, 17. Uh, that's the end of that pass. So we now don't consider from the 6 onwards. And then we compare the last two. 5 and 3, they need to be swapped. So we get 3, 5, 6, 10, 12, 17. And because my last pass had two numbers in it, I know that I've finished. One thing to be very careful of is if at this last stage the two uh, first numbers, the first and second place numbers, are in the correct order already, you do still need to make that comparison, so it's very important that you do um, make sure you've, you've done every single stage and compared every single thing. Don't just let your brain automatically compare them and you not record them. Now if the question asks me how many comparisons and swaps I've made, it's quite easy to work it out. The comparisons are uh, each time I've drawn a red line. So that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 comparisons. 
and for the swaps that was every time I wrote a new line so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so ten swaps were made that's it for the bubble sort um, it is quite time consuming and it's very easy to make mistakes in terms of counting the comparisons and swaps so do just be very very careful with that Oh, <laughs>